Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to display unread chat message notification in real time by using Ratchet WebSocket library under this one-to-one -one chat application with PHP script and MySQL database. In previous part, we have already discussed how to send and receive chat message in real time using Ratchet WebSocket library under this chat application with PHP script and that chat messages we have also saved in MySQL database table also. Now we want to display real time new chat message notification. For this, we have open private chat.php file and under this, we have go to jkari code part. And here we have go to this, select user click event. This block of code will execute when we have click on any user for view chat history of login user and this user. So when chat messages load, then chat message status must be changed. So when we have click on this, select user list tag, then it will trigger Ajax request to action.php file for fetch chat message data from data. For this we have go to action.php file and here we have go to this block of code where fetch chat data code has been execute. So at this time, we want to change all unread chat message status. So here, we have write dollar private chat object with change chat status method. This message will change status of unread chat message and under this code, we have already set the value of from user ID and to user ID variable value. Because this both variable value is required for this change chat status method also. For this, now we have go to private chat class and here we have make change chat status method. Under this method, we have write dollar query variable is equal to update chat message table, set status column value is equal to yes. And in where condition, we have write from user ID is equal to double colon from user ID and to user ID table column is equal to double colon to user ID and status column is equal to no. So this query will update status column value from unread dot read below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare method and under this we have write dollar query variable so this method will make query for execution now we want to bind php variable value with sql query double colon variable so here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument and in in first argument we have write double colon from user id and in second argument we have write dollar this from user id variable same way for double colon to user id here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument and in first argument, we have write double colon to user ID, and in second argument, we have write dollar this to user ID variable. Finally we want to execute above update query, so for this here, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute above update query for change unread chat message status. So here our backend code is ready for change unread chat message notification. Now we want to display real time unread chat notification. We have again go to private chat.php file. And here we have go to this on message callback function. This function will receive chat message from WebSocket server. Under this function, we have go to this if condition. This condition will check 
receiver user is online or their chat area open then it will execute if block of code. But suppose user is not online or their chat area is not open, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we want to write code for display unread chat message notification. So under this block, we have write count chat variable is equal to dollar with span tag id user id with dynamic value of data dot user id variable with text method. So this code will get the value of total unread chat message notification. Below this, we have write if statement. And under condition, we have write count chat variable value is equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write count chat variable is equal to zero. If there is no any unread chat message notification, then this count chat variable value will be zero. Next we want to increment value of this count chat variable by one. So here we have write count chat variable with increment operator. So it will increment this variable value by one. Now we want to again assign this variable value to user ID span tag. So here we have write dollar with span tag ID user ID with dynamic value of data dot user ID variable. And after this, we have write HTML method. And under this method, we have write span tag with class is equal to bootstrap badge, badge danger and badge build class. And between this tag, we have write count chat variable. So it will display number of unread chat message on web page. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. So first we have go to command prompt. And here we run php command with bin folder name slash server dot php. So it will start ratchet web socket server. Now here we have enter our chat application URL and here on web page we can see login page has been load. So here we have enter login details like email address details and password details. After this. We have click on login button and after click on login button here we can see page has been redirect to chakroom.php page and on this page we can see all user can chat with each other. But we want to chat one to one user so here we can see private chat button so we have click on this button and after this it redirect us to private chat.php. Now here we can see register user list at left side. Now we want to chat with this user. So we have click on this user. So after click on this user. Here we can see chat area has been appear on web page. After this on screen we can see other user also has been login in another browser. But in second screen there is not any chat area has been open. Now we have go to John Smith account and here we have write some message in chat form and then after we have click on send chat message and after click on send button here chat message has been sent. And in second browser we can see that one unread chat message notification has been appear in real time without refresh of web page. Now we have click on this unread chat message user and after click here we can see chat message notification has been removed and chat messages has been load on web page. Same way again we have go to John Smith account and here we have click on other user and here on web page we can see that that user message has been load. Now we have type something in chat box and click on send button. And after click on send button, chat message has been sent, but this user is currently offline. So now in second browser, we have login with that user. Now here we on second browser screen, 
we can see 100 message notification has been displayed with John Smith username. So this way we can display real-time unread chat message notification using Ratchet WebSocket library. In next part, we will discuss how to display real-time user online and offline status using Ratchet WebSocket library under this one-to-one -one chat application with PHP script and MySQL database. Thank you for watching this video. We will be meet in next part of this real-time one-to-one chat application using Ratchet PHP WebSocket library with MySQL database.